Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and today, well, today we're back. We're back in SevTech, folks, and we're having some fun. Today we're going to be covering a bit of modularity, and maybe a little tiny bit of uh, somewhat automation on making some more of my, my tasty foods that uh, I'm, I'm liking. So yeah, I hope you guys are happy. Dudes for everybody that, that I'm back. Uh, it's been a while. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since uh, I've been in here. But hey, you know, I moved house. That That's that's how things went. And yeah, so we're, we're just going to get back into it. And the channel should be back on schedule like it, whoops, like it normally is. And I will see you guys, well, just all over the place. So let, let, let's let's just jump right in, shall we? So now that we've gone through a little bit of a, I don't know, regrouping <laughs> i'm just I'm, I'm returning yes the place is a mess uh i don't know it, it well it's coming along this area is starting to clear up i actually did one tiny thing and that was uh, i dug this little trench uh which hopefully we'll have enough time to get to today but first i really really wanted to finish off my modularity area uh, i've got these two spots here set aside for the two different machines uh, that i still plan on making i don't know if i'm going to have enough uh, materials for them but the idea here is that an industrial mill is going to feed into a mixer which is then going to feed into the one that we already made last time which is there we go industrial drying unit so that i can actually have a i don't know uh drop one item in and it, the the leather comes out the other uh, the other side <laughs> and hopefully that'll be really quick um and i have the option to turn off the automation for it so that i can individually use these at least that's the plan i was hoping to use a little bit of build craft piping in there as well so i, I don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes maybe i'll make things a little easier maybe i'll make things a little more difficult but let's start with making the mixer first uh if only because i don't know the um I, I think that it's going to be more useful than the other. Uh, so we're going to need a lot of materials. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to try and get all of these materials together and I'll be back with you guys shortly. There we go. Thankfully, I've got a whole bunch of redstone ingots already set and made. So I'm able to make some of these. Now I know that I'm going to need two of these machine controllers for the next two machines. Um, so I might actually combine my efforts and try and make the ingredients for both sets of machines at the same time. I figure that this will probably, I don't know, make things just a little bit easier. So I might grab both of these, try and figure things out from there. All right, there we go. Two machine controllers. That's simple enough. And I actually need 22 machine casings, so I'm going to just cut one of these in half. That should work. Hey, it did work. Perfect. All right, and then I can just kind of toss these off to the side. Uh, just get get back over into the chest. All right, perfect. Now that I've got 22 machine casings, so I'm going to get all the materials for both. I've, I've just determined that that's just how it's going to be. Let it be known that hoppers are still a pain to be made, regular hoppers when they're part of a recipe, specifically if I'm looking for things like small item outputs or inputs. Um, the, you need hoppers or uppers, which you still have to make them with like your iron plates and your bronze gears and chest. Ah, it's so annoying to do. But at least it, this will definitely speed things along uh, a bit faster than it was before. All right, so hopefully I have enough here. I've got a bunch of chests, a bunch of plates. I've already got 18 plates already made up. I made four bronze gears. I'm just going to toss those ones in there. Let's Let's see if I can make the four hoppers that I need. Yes beautiful all right because i need to make small item inputs i need to make two of those and then i need to make two small item outputs which require uppers of course uh which let me clear this out there we go and then small item outputs actually let me double check the recipes yes in fact they both do need small item outputs uh, i just didn't want to accidentally make things uh, shoot there we go make two of those Perfect. All right. Next part of the puzzle is going to be, ooh, a cauldron in this case. And a millstone for the other. Oh, a millstone. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I'll go make those. I'll be right back. Okay. I've got those. And now I need to make some tiny energy 
input hatches. Uh, let's see, these here, ooh, it's going to require a bunch of LV coils. Um, I've got some, but not nearly enough. So it looks like I'm going to have to go, I've got my copper plate, so I could feasibly make this on the bench. Okay, that won't be too bad. Be back once that's complete. All right, so I got myself a little bit back to front. Uh, it, it wasn't that at all. In fact, it was this, um, which using the the press to make myself a bunch more wire. So let's just toss a bunch of these in here. We'll toss in eight for now and see how that goes. I think it's just a one to one for those. It's just going to save derby. Oh no, I get two out of it. All right, cool. So that'll work out just nicely. There we go, a bunch of LV wire coil, which should work out just fine. There we are, and I need two of these. I don't, I don't need the rest of that, so that can all just go back in, in here for now. So the next thing I'm going to need are more unique, like machine circuitry. This here requires redstone wire coils, which requires aluminum, redstone, and some kind of stick. So I'll go make a bunch of these, and I'll be right back. In fact, I'm going to need these for something else uh, a little bit later anyway. All right, so I think we're good to go here. Let's try making this machine circuitry. Um, well, first, obviously, need to make those. But now, this. Oh, we get two. That's even better, because uh, I'll just put one over here for now. The extra redstone wire. And if you hear noise in the background, that's probably just a, an extreme windstorm going on outside right now. I'm very glad that I'm inside. Um, so let's take a look at the other items that we have left here. Uh, I think I think this one's done. Uh, oh, we need four Boop. machine gearboxes. I, I did not even see that. All right, well, let's take a look at the machine gearboxes. Those require copper gears or steel gears for four. That's interesting. Well, I've got tons of copper, so I might as well just make a bunch of these. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and those require machine casings each. All right, so I'll I'll make these up, and I'll be right back. There we go. That should do it. Now, I emptied out part of my inventory at the moment just because it was getting way too full carrying all these machine parts. Some people are probably, like, going absolutely nuts seeing how full my inventory is getting, but oh well. Um, oh, shoot, that that's enough for one. Uh, that's a lot of copper. No wonder... No wonder steel is so much more preferred. Well, I'll take the one, I guess. Uh, I might need more in the future. Let's... Hmm, I probably shouldn't have made that one. I, I regret that now because four steel is not very expensive. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I'll use this to make the, the, the other one. Wait, is it four steel? No, it's four steel gears, which is four steel per gear. Okay, so that's that's a little bit more, but that's still so much better, because before it was... Oh, wow, that was a lot. That was a lot of copper for that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. And steel isn't that bad, really. I mean, I just throw a bunch of, like, stuff... Yeah, yeah, it's not that bad. I don't know what I was complaining about before. Let's see, we've got enough in here now. Uh, but it, due to the way that the machine works, I can't actually feed it in individually, so I'll just throw it on top. Make myself these, and we should be good to go. There we go. All right, got my steel gears. Now I should be able to make this. Yeah, there we go. Four. Okay. I have one extra, I guess. Actually, do I probably only need the one? No, I think I needed three. So I'll put the uh, extra ones over here. Maybe I'll need a couple for something else in the future. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. But... Um, Four machine boxes. Okay, so I do have one extra. I should not have made that extra one. Mistakes were made. A bit of copper was wasted. Ugh. Oh well. Anyway, that one I believe is all set now. It's got the machine circuitry and the machine gearbox and everything. But this one, this one has an item that I'm going to need and I'm a bit worried about here. And that is going to be, well, not the machine vent, I guess. Uh, but it does need uh, a fluid. Let's see if I can actually catch it when it comes around. Hold, if you hold sneak when uh, these things are cycling, you can actually pause the uh, list of all the items. So a tiny fluid input hatch. This implies that some kind of liquid is going to be required, and liquid water is not renewable um, in its current form. Well, I mean, I guess it is in some ways, but uh, I've got to figure out how to actually do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up having a lot of water bucketed into this thing. So I, I guess we'll see. So for now, though, 
um, a machine vent and a tiny fluid input hatch. All right. All right, machine vent, very simple. I think I only needed one of those. Uh, and then the tiny fluid input hatch. Any, there we go. That requires another hopper. Oh, son of a gun. All right, well, I'll go make one of these and I'll be back shortly. Oh, wait, I had that wrong. That's a tiny fluid input hatch. That requires metal barrels and a hopper. Okay, all right. I'll have to make a bunch of those too. There we go. I think I have enough to make this now. All right, first let's make the hopper. There we go. Gosh, you can't have enough hoppers in this. I tell you what, tiny fluid input hatch, done. Okay, so now to just assemble everything in this area, and then I think we should be good to go. All right, so here we have the sneaky blueprint set in place, and you actually have to have the, uh, as I've learned, at least in this case, wherever the controller is, is where the preview is going to end up being placed. So in this case, I had to place a couple blocks here and then place it. Otherwise, it tries placing it in the floor, and I have the issue that I had last time with trying to set that one up. But anyway, I should be good to go with what I've got now. And if you can't tell what things are, like for instance, I don't know what this middle underneath block is, you can still open it up. Let's see, uh, this is the mixer that I have. Let's go to the mixer. And then you can rotate around, I believe, where is it? There we go, by clicking on this bottom area here. And then you can go through the different layers and see what's on there. Oh, there's a vent. Okay, that's on top, middle, below. All right, so it's, it's all just machine casing on the bottom. And then I've got the different items in the second level. So let's just start this out with some simple machine casings. All right. Then I should have a controller. Where's the controllers? There we go. That's simple enough. Then we've got other machine bits around here. Okay. I don't know what these are in the back. I'm guessing one's an input and an output. Um, none of them look as simple as the other ones. And I think, oh, there's an output there. So let's put that here. And then the other ones should be green. We've got small item and tiny fluid. This being the mixer, I'm guessing that we're going to need one in one spot. Oh, shoot. All right, let's 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 bring up that menu and see what we've got. We've got unfamiliar items. I hate waiting for this to scroll through. Oh, I can, I can, I can actually... Oh, I didn't even realize I can zoom in with my mouse wheel. Okay. In the past with other types, um, I'd be able to... Oh, there we go. Tiny fluids on the corner. Tiny energy on there. And then this is, I think, the, uh, the output. Oh, 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 okay. This is on the, uh, just around the corner from that. All right, so energy is in the middle, and fluid is on the corner. Fair enough. Uh, I was able to... Um, where's energy? That's item. I don't want that. Energy. There we go. I was able to just scroll when you're in your like JEI or something like that, when you're looking to see what the different ingredients are. Uh, shoot, none of these are actually really good examples. They're all very specific recipes. If I go with something like, let's say, oops, let's say this bookshelf, I could, I would be able to scroll through these and actually hold sneak and it would still pause so you could see the different recipes. Uh, but that's the input hatch. And we've got tiny fluid input hatch. There we go. And then on this side should be the item output, input rather, item input, output, input. Yep. So it, it creates a line. And then I think the rest is all just a bunch of machine casings and a vent on the edge there. So let's hold this bit for last. Oh, I don't know what's in the middle. Is that just a machine casing in the middle? It's difficult to tell on this, some of this stuff. Oh, the cauldron. Of course, the cauldron. Let's put that here. That makes more sense. Okay. And uh, heck, these blocks are already functional to a point. Oops, I shouldn't have placed that there. There we go. A vent. Oh, whoops. Get out of there, cauldron. <laughs> Placing this weird stuff in here. Gosh, need to hold sneak when I'm doing all this stuff or else it's all just going to go to pot. All right, there we go. Yeah, all right. Perfect. And then I can put this in here. Da 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 da. Mixer made. And then I can connect up the power. But before I do, I think what I'm going to do instead is place down this and make the next one the 
oh, what's it called? The industrial mixer or something? Industrial mill. There we go. I'm convinced. I'm mixing my uh, two together. So there we go. It's a much shorter unit, as you can see. It's only like a couple blocks. So there we go. Oops. And now I just need to break these blocks, place the remainings of this one, and I'll be good to go. Controller. In the corner, we've got gearbox, 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 gearbox. Okay. Looks like we've got one machine casing here. I have no idea what that one is. Let's bring these last items out. Let's see if I can guess what these are. Each, we've got the power. All right, tiny energy input hatch. Because, yeah, that looks like an outlet. Okay. And then we have, why is that flashing? Is that not the right one? No, that's probably the right one. I don't see why not. And then this looks like it's another input, though that's very strange. Why would there be an input there? And I think I'm actually one machine casing short in this case. I, I used one of them in a recipe. Um, this is really weird. Let me bring this back up. Have a look. I thought that all the inputs and outputs were the same. So at the top, we've got tiny energy input hatch on the top. Oh no, this is the bottom. Minus one. My bad. On the bottom and then the machine circuitry. Okay. And then we've got on the side item inputs, item output. Did I miss those? I've got tiny energy, small. Wait, energy. Oh, that's an item output. That is wrong. I thought that I had the uh, energy output or input in my hand. There we go. So there's an, another thing to learn about this is that the uh, if you put the wrong thing in there, you get like that ghost overlap. That's really interesting. So if I put that there, yeah, that's the wrong item. Interesting. Okay. So let's put the output and the input, which is kind of regrettable that they're reversed from each other, but it should still work. Millstone. And then if all goes well, oh, I'm still missing. Ah, that last piece. Okay which uh, I don't have any extras of, so let's just make that right now. It should just be one up here. There we go. Put the rest away. And get in my hand. There we go. This should finish it off. Da -da -da -da. Cool. And then they just need power as before. So I just need a couple of connectors, which I've got a couple of those. I've got... Oops, some wire, insulated wire, of course. Why Why else would I go with anything different? Uh, but then I can plug this in, plug this in, that there, and that there. Perfect. And then this should be getting do, do, some power. If I click on here, yep, power is full. Power is full. All right, the only thing is, I'm going to need to actually connect all these together with some kind of pipes and stuff, but I would like to try out uh, this entire process manually first, just to see if it all works. I think uh, I, I am going to need a bucket. Oh, right. Uh, that was one of the things. I used my existing bucket, and I needed to pour out a new one. <laughs> so I'll be back in a moment. I realize that I keep saying I'll be back in a moment and then you guys are all just like watching and I do my cutscenes or I do the, the cutaway. You don't really see anything. It's the, it just cuts or, or does some kind of fade or something weird like that. But ah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm in the wrong chest. I need wood. Uh, specifically, yeah, I think oak bark could work. I think use for this can be used to make... Uh, where is it? Um, in an industrial mill, ground resin, which then can be used with hide, dried hide. How do I get dried hide from salted hide? How do I get salted hide? Okay, maybe this is a multiple. This isn't just going to feed one to the next. Okay. So it's going to need water. Hmm. All right. So I will need some water. Let's take a bucket of this over for now. Let's see how things go. I don't know if I can hook this this infinite water source up to this or not, but I guess we'll find out. 
There we go. I'm just going to do a carry-on of the water bucket. So it's a little bit slower, but thankfully the horse heads make things go a little bit quicker. All right. Um, I think this is the mixer. So I think this is the one that it's need a small item. Tiny fluid input hatch. Perfect. I'll set it there for the moment. Let's see what's in here. Can I? It's just that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, so it takes two buckets total that it can fill with. You have to bear with me, folks. I've never actually done this before. I've never used most of these machines, so this is really interesting to me. I, I like I like how these work, though. Okay, so water's full. Need an item. And this being a mixer, we're going to need multiple things. So I can click U on this to see what it can all make. Some kind of raw hide and salt will make salted hide and so on. Maybe I've got this all in the wrong order. I don't know. Let me go get some of the hides and we'll see if we can make this work. All right, so I have a whole lot of raw hides here. I'm just going to grab these because why the heck not? I've got a bunch of raw hides that I, I converted my leathers from using my working tool. So this being a small item input, if I toss these in here, actually, I don't even remember. What's the use for this? Take raw hide and salt and water. Oh, okay, so I am going to need salt as well. So I can throw that in there, but nothing's going to happen unless I get some salt as well. All right, so I've got a lot of salt. I grabbed a half a stack. I figured I hopefully it's not going to use up like one to one. Hopefully it'll use up a different amount or something. And this has water, rawhide and salt. And that should... Four raw hides plus some kind of salt should work. Is it the right kind? Yeah, it's mechanism salt, so it should work. Should make salted hide. And then, oh, it's processing. It even says it, progress. Gotcha. There we go, salted hide. It's doing the thing. And then use for this in an industrial drying unit. Oh, oh, seriously, I don't. Did I not make one of those? Oh, I did. That's what this one is. I'm a doof. All right, let's take this one. Put this in the input here. And it's taken those. Processing. It should come out not as paper, but as dried leather. If all goes well. Come on, come on, come on. It, is it still doing the thing? Oh, yeah, it just finished. Okay. Hey, there we go. Dried hide. And then the use for that goes with ground resin. Oh, I've got these out of order. I think this one's supposed to be down here, and these two are supposed to be moved over one. Oh, crud. Crud. Well, that's all right. I can still pipe these things around. Let's see. Input. Small item input. Put this. Whoops. No, no. Not that. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Use for this. I think I can use it to make all sorts of stuff, but... Use for this is in an industrial mill, which is what this is. So if I put some of these in here, it's it's doing the thing. What is it making? It is making resin, right? Ground resin. Perfect. And then ground resin can be used with dried hides, which is what I have now in the mixer again. Oh, so it's kind of a circle. The circle of life. No, we're stopping. Um, so I could take these plus the input here, put this in and some of these and see what happens. Is it just going to get confused? No matching recipe found because I've got too many different recipes in there. So if I take those out, I might, wait, what? Use for this, one and four, and I've got for a dried hide, right? Is it not dried hide? I thought it was dried hide. It is dried hide. Oh, we're probably out of water. Yep, that's going to be the, the problem, is running out of water. Yep, there it goes. It's processing. So then if I also toss this in there, it will probably do its thing as well. Yeah, that uses up a quarter of a bu or yeah, a quarter of a bucket each process. Hmm. There it goes. It just used one. 
Used up a quarter of a bucket. Yep. And it's made salted hide and wet tanned hide. Neat. Which then, in an industrial drying unit, the salted hide... Okay. <laughs> the... Oh, yeah. Industrial drying unit will make leather. Whoops. So then, yeah, this is just a really big... Wait, where did... Give me those. This is just a really big circle. Use for this. In here we'll make regular dried hide, which I did salted hide as well. You might as well put them both in there and see what happens. Should make them both. Should be good. Neat. It is so much faster and easier, though, than the previous method of making leather. All, like, manually right-clicking on, on stuff and then waiting multiple minutes for things to happen. Instead, it's just kind of grabbing a bunch of manual items. But you know what? That that's really cool, and I look forward to kind of automating this in a way, and getting some water. If you guys have some suggestions on uh, what you think I should do for uh, like an infinite water source for that machine, I am all all ears. It hopefully it doesn't involve blood magic because then that involves me constantly refilling the blood for that, and I don't really want to do a, a refillable thing because then that actually becomes a manual process. I want it to be automated permanently, but I do have this set up. And this is actually, let me go get all the tools for this. I first realized I left them all in this chest originally here. And in fact, I need to get these out of my inventory, move some of this junk around. There we go. All right. Grab all this stuff. And the idea here is that I have food in my inventory right here. Jam donuts, right? They're really good when combined with fish and chips. You, you get tons of good stuff with these. Nom nom. So what do I want to do? I want to automate making these a little bit more at least. Uh, so the recipe for this is white pears, which is easy enough. I mean, I just, I harvested a whole bunch. You see, I've got like 28 or something on me right now. And I think this recipe, this episode, yeah, look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. The amount of, of pears that I get from these is really, really good. And it, it doesn't take very long. Oh, it looks like some of these have actually started dying and I'm going to need to get some purified stuff added back down. But still, I mean, each harvest, I, I've got like almost a half stack from from harvesting one of those. So that's that's really good. Now, the thing is, though, I need to make reed donuts to get the benefits of that. And reed donuts, while good, require dry, dried swamp reed, which are easy to make because you just cook up swamp reed. But you need swamp reed. So how do I get swamp reed? Well, it grows as tall as the water is. It's sort of like kelp, but it has to be swamp water. And swamp water is infinite, uh, but I don't think it'll work in like the uh, the drying or those machines back there. I think that actually has to be water. But the idea here is, let me jump down, um, that down here, I'm gonna need to dig this up. There we go, put down a bit of swamp dirt and let's see, get a bucket of this, barrel of that, put down the barrel, take the, take the lid off, there we go, and bucket out a couple buckets of this. There we go. This was just because I, I needed to get down there. Might as well put a third bucket down. But uh, if this is activated, it's nothing to worry about it, because it's renewable, right? And you can't plant swamp reeds on anything except for swamp, um, like the swamp land stuff. Uh, what is it? The, uh, the Not the swamp water itself, but the swamp dirt. There we go. Has to be planted on swamp dirt, right? So there. Now this will only grow up to maybe, maybe like that tall. Maybe one more, something like that. It, it's sort of like sugar cane like that. But the idea is if I keep on filling this, with uh, things like, there we go. Oh, it just got really dark. Where's my, where's my light? Hold on. If I keep on filling this with water going all the way up, then it will constantly keep growing all the way up. And then I just need to break the bottom. They all break and they'll all float to the top thanks to how SevTech is set up. So uh, let's actually put the lid back on this. There we go. Take this with me. Um, 
I need to actually automate this. And I was thinking I would use some of the mechanics I already have. And that is, I believe I just made down here some redstone wiring. Um, redstone wire coil. Yes, I am going to want to make more of these specifically so I can use them to make, no, 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 no red, R, make more. Here we go. So I can use these to make some other materials. Wait a minute. That's, that's not what I thought it was. I'm trying to make a redstone wire connector, which doesn't even need those. I just made a bunch more for no reason. That's great. Okay, well, still, what I'm looking to make is down here. Let's get a quick snooze on. Snooze. And I should have this recipe already, like, in here. Recipe there. Makes four of those. Oh, that's right. I did need those redstone wires because I need to have these go all the way down. These are the connectors. It's sort of like a, a way of having a redstone hooked up. Wait a minute. I'm missing a tool. I am going to need my hammer for this. Engineer's hammer. That's going to be very important. And then, let's see here. I am going to need... Boop. Okay to add this to the back here. So I, I don't know if, hello, I hear a witch over there, if this is going to actually fit on the back of it and it'll work. Let me try this with a lever and see if it actually breaks. It doesn't. Excellent. Okay, so then I should be able to connect one of these up above. Uh, I am going to need the other one, another one of these though. So let's climb back up. I'm going to need to place a block that it can connect to. Let's put it, uh, say, here. And then I should be able to climb up above. Yeah, that works. I'm going to actually, it's going to get kind of loud with chickens for a moment while I remove this. In fact, maybe I put that right there instead. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing you guys. Thank you for being quiet. We're going to put this back on the side. Oop. And then, see, the blue stripe means input. So we're going to need to change that, though, to output. Do, do, do. Output. Cool. It even says so. Highlighted channel white output. Excellent. So then if I connect this to here. Actually, no, I want this to be input. I forgot. I need the one down below to be output. Oh, there's, there's a light source in the way. Can I, can I, there we go. Punch that light source. Oh, it's dark down here. That's great. Linking. And then linked. Perfect. So now, just to give it a test, actually, before I start doing this, can I put a light source down here? Yes, there we go. Let's give it a test. See if it works, because if it does, then this is this is ideally what I want to happen. Whoop. The, not, not the trapdoor test. I just wanted to see if. Perfect. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, so then I just need to fill this entire passageway with swamp water. <laughs> and I need to fill this up at the same time. I just ran out of blocks. All right, so I'm going to fill all this up, and I'll be right back. And then we can test it out even more so. All right, so I have 26 swamp reed on me right now. Let us test this out. I'm going all the way to the bottom. Planting this all the way up that I can, as far as I can. There we go, which I think it stops short there. Then if I pull this, oh my gosh, it all, it all just comes back up to the top. Yes. It does take a second, but... That's good. And then I just grab what I have, drop down to the bottom with my super prismarine armor. Replant. And I'm good to go. Cool. So that should work for me getting a whole bunch more. It's just going to take a little bit of time for it to, uh, you know, grow. But it's within range of my little uh, weirding gadget. So that should be a pretty neat way of getting more of the uh, swamp reed, which I'm putting it in the food bin right now. I realize I have plenty of reed donuts, but now I have a renewable way of getting those reed, reed donuts. And in the meantime, 
Let's go after this duding skeleton that has been like, oh, he's been duding me the entire time I was down there trying to do this. Oh, gosh. As you can see, my, oh, there he is. Done. So done. What did you, oh, that's my arrow. Okay. And you, I heard you too. Gosh, my, my mushroom area is really, really just a big old mob spawner. Get out of here. How many trumpet skeletons were there? That was like three. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right. So that's going to be pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry it's been so long for this video to finally make it to your viewing screens. But that's the way things go, especially when, you know, you're in the middle of moving house. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief and let them all know that I'm back and we're, we're doing stuff again and that, that you know, we're, we're, we're crazy here and, and having fun. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Till next time. Bye.